Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you something very special, or not, depends on how you take it. What I'm going to show you today is a simple trap, well, I shouldn't say trap, let's call it a security system, a simple security system. Now let's say, let's say you want to create a mob trap, or you're playing on multiplayer and someone decides to walk into your little cave system or a tunnel whatever you're doing this could be applied to any type of situation you see that right there oh, I bet you didn't it was blended in see yeah alright well let's show you I'm gonna show you what the uh, trap does first and it's not really a trap I should I should probably stop calling it a trap it's a security system so let's let's do this ha oh, what's going on I've alerted any nearby forces of my presence. Oh my god. I gotta leave. Alright. So, it's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. You walk on button, button activates a chime. So, anyone that's working down here on the other side, who can't see down here, can hear that, and then they can whip out their bow or their sword or whatever and get ready to kill them. So let's show you how this works first of all. This is very, very simple. So right back here is all the workings. Alright, so let's look at this. Right here we have the switch. Whenever someone steps on the switch, it's going to apply power to this block, which is going to give send a signal from this block off down the redstone wire. Now this is similar to the doorbell tutorial that I showed you guys a few days ago. Um, what this does is once you step on this switch it turns on the redstone and it sounds this chime redstone activates down here goes on to the repeater then activates this chime goes on to this one and then activates this chime so now this is very 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 simple to make in fact I shouldn't even have to show you how to make this I mean you guys can see right here right now but what I'm going to do just so you guys are happy is I'm gonna create another tunnel and I'm gonna go ahead and um, speed this up to make the video short and then I'll show you quickly how to set this up so yeah back. all right so now we got our tunnel and this is what we're gonna use to get from point A to point B or use this for a mine whatever you need to use it for so we have our tunnel made now chances are you're gonna already have your tunnel created already because maybe you've already started a mine or you have a tunnel leading somewhere else whatever the whatever the case may be you already have this created so now I'm gonna go ahead and dig out a section right beside it and it has to be one block away so we're gonna go ahead and do this quick Okay, so now we have our little tunnel built off to the side of our actual passage. So what we're going to do is you see where we dug this out. This is where we're going to do our redstone wiring. So let's place down our switch. Right here is where our switch is going to be. You don't have to place it there. You can place it wherever you want. But we're going to place it there for this tutorial. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to send off our redstone from there. Now actually I need to extend this out a little bit more, so give me a second. Okay, now that we have this extended out, what I want to show you is very, very, very important. Listen to this. You hear that? When you place a note block on top of a stone, it gives you this sound. No matter what pitch you put it at. Now it's, it's very short and sounds awful. We don't want this. Now I'm going to show you what you're going to do. And actually to make this work you're going to need to create a little section out here. So now that we have this, we're going to place down a dirt block. And then we'll place down our note block. And it gives you that sound that you're, that beautiful sound that you're going to want. 
So now let's connect our redstone wiring to this. So whenever anyone steps on this, it's going to trigger that sound, which is good. Another thing I want to point out, don't put any blocks on top of the note blocks. They won't work. Okay. So now that you know that, I'm going to show you this real quick. You're going to create a repeater to add on any secondary chimes. So let's get rid of this. Dig this out a little bit more. Alright, and there we go. So for a very, very compact repeater, you can watch you can look at my other channel or my other video, how to create a doorbell, to see the extended or the larger version of the repeater. However, this is much more compact and it's gonna be a lot better. So what you do is you take two blocks, any blocks, it doesn't matter what block you put, but two blocks and you're going to put a redstone torch on top of the first block where the redstone wire is connected to and then a redstone torch on the side of the second block so it's going to look like this now we need to connect this torch onto this block so this torch is powering this redstone wire which is going to give power to this block and deactivate this torch which is going to create the repeater so now all we got to do is place the redstone wire after this block so when this torch is activated it's going to activate this wire now let's set down our second note block. Remember, we got to put down dirt beneath it, otherwise it's going to make a very dull sound, which we don't want. There we go. So there's your first tune, and there's your second. So when someone steps on it, you hear this two chime sound. Now you can keep on going and going and going and going to make the sounds even more longer. Um, you can change up the tunes, you can make it play a song, get creative with it, do whatever you want. But this is the basic layout. Now let's go ahead and make this um, hidden so no one can tell what's going on. Alright, so there you go. Now someone's going to stumble across your cave and they're going to wonder what's back here. If you don't want them back here, they walk over, this, they walk over the, the trap, sounds the alarm, and you know they're out there so you can take care of it however you want so um yeah this is pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be glad to answer you so uh... thanks for watching um... please subscribe if you want to watch new, uh... more tutorials i have plenty more to come around also suggest tutorials because um, i need ideas on what to do so just su give me suggestions i know people love the redstone tutorial so um yeah just give me suggestions on anything you want it doesn't matter anything anything you want to see all right so thanks for watching uh subscribe and yeah that's it